This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is Alex and this is The Ramble and we go from now until midnight tonight. And here we go folks, hello, how are you, how are you, how are you, how are you? Uh, this is Alex, I'm um, having some problems tonight. Uh, it always happens just before I go on the air. I decided to found that our whole network was down and then the computer took forever to boot up. So, I don't know. One thing after another. And then I forget to turn on the lights. There we go. Now I'm beautiful. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Uh, we, uh, on, on, uh, on uh, Wednesday nights, um, we accommodate... A gentleman by the name of Phil Meyer, and here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Say hello, Phil. Phil? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was just having some real problems here. Yeah, how's that? Uh, oh, my, 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 the whole network went down. The, uh, the 24-7. The, the oh. computer just kind of screwed up on me. Uh, yeah, it's a conspiracy. Huh? It's a conspiracy. Yeah. So anyway, wait a minute. I got to do something over here. See, I'm I'm working on this at the same time, trying to okay. trying to get it going again. I like your uh, living room background. Uh huh. You like that, Pete? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. That armoire is gorgeous. That's yeah. That's uh, Marjorie brought that with her. Ugh. Yeah, I didn't think you would have bought it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm trying to get this thing working here. Uh, it's, yeah. It's very slow to go. I got myself one of those new, uh, one of the cheaper uh, Mac Mini Macs, the M1s. Why? Because, well, I'm glad I did because it looks like this one's going bad on me. Again? This Mini Mac. Well, I mean, oh. this, yeah, the Mini Mac. Oh, oh, the, the, oh, the, oh you were, the, you've been running your network off the Mini Mac. Yeah, 24-7. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, uh, but I've got an I got a spare, but I may have yeah. to put the spare. The one, in, you know. the one I sold you. Does that still work? Yeah, I think uh, Marjorie uses it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It still works. It broke them when you sent it to me, and I had to pay like four hundred well, bucks to get it fixed. That's because you you plugged it into the wall without a uh, uh, without a thing in your shitty electricity. I I seem to remember something like that. Wow. Yeah. And and you blew it you blew it up. Uh, you know, yeah, I did blow it up. That's for darn sure. Well, Any, anyway, so I, I, you know, so I'm sitting here. You know, I don't know if I can get through the whole show tonight because I'm worried about this. You ever had that happen? And you just got to get it fixed. Well, I got to get it fixed. Yes, you know, it's like almost every third day I got to reboot this thing uh, because I lose my uh, wireless connection. And I keep thinking about what you said, which was. You shouldn't be wireless. You should hardwire everything. Yeah. Either that or, well, first of all, I got, I got the new Mini Mac because I wanted, it was, it's one of the M1s, but I got it with only 256K of memory, or may, yeah. gig, gigabytes of memory. You uh, probably don't need much. You just use an state. external drive. Well, yeah, exactly. That's exactly right. what I'm doing. And also, it only has like eight uh, gigs of, of memory in it. You know, yeah, the uh, yeah, basic yeah, memory. You can't really but, but because this M1 is so strong and so vibrant, uh, yeah. it seems to you be able to take the load. I've been I've been running some very heavy duty programs all at once, and it holds up without me beach balling very much. Yeah, well, you know? What do they charge you about eight hundred bucks for that? I got it at uh, Costco for five sixty seven, and it was a hundred dollars off from their price. So uh, yeah. So you know what the hell it was something and and I it's really good now I'm not going to put it in place of this one I just have another you know computer that I can use but it yeah. seems like everything is uh, let me see here let me I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to everything's see. breaking down huh everything's breaking down oh, I know okay. everything breaks down hold on a second talk, talk yeah. to everybody out there all right see I don't hey. I don't really care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the 
a good attitude. Well, there, there's plenty of things going on uh, in, uh, in, in the world. Uh, now, one thing that's going on is very close to you. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you go to the... Okay, uh, I've got it all working here now. So oh, good. I don't have to worry about it. I, I just want to know if you got out and you went to the Rockefeller Center uh, for the uh, tree burning cer ceremony today. No tree burning? Yeah, yeah. There was a homeless guy uh, set the tree on fire in front of uh, Fox News. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> With all the ornaments on it and, and the whole thing, he set the thing on fire. Well, good for him. <laughs> I'm all for that. Yeah. Well, this is not the only tree burning. The Jack London. Oh, look, look at this. Oh, look at this. I have an arrow in the middle of the. See, I could. I, I don't see it right there. Go, go right there. You can't see it, but there it so uh, you know, I just figured you you would you know it used to be a tree lighting ceremony. Yeah. Not anymore. Now it's a tree burning ceremony. You know, it's like Burning Man, I guess. Yeah. So they arrested the guy uh, in uh, New York, but in Jack London Square in Oakland, mm -hmm. uh, somebody burned the tree down, uh, took a bunch of... Uh, Is, isn't uh, K KTVU, the Fox station, in Jack London Square? You know, probably is. It is, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, so that maybe this is a, another conspiracy. Mm -hmm. And then I think there was one in uh, Chicago. Uh, but I don't know if it had anything to do with a, uh, a Fox affiliate. But Well, they do uh, a menorah burning, but menorahs are already burning. So, yeah, you know, you don't have to do that. Well, yeah. that's what the, the what, what do they call that candle that you light the other candles with? The, the shamus. The, the shamus. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's what the shamus is for, is to burn down the, uh, the tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. But uh, anyway, it just struck me uh, as... Uh, as kind of funny that uh, people are burning down Christmas trees now. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, and then the other thing that, well, here's what you could do, okay? Yeah. I went out and I got a thing called a Wi-Fi mesh. Is that yeah. like a booster? It's kind of like that. You know, it's, remember like in the old days you used to have things where you had like extenders. Yeah, I, yeah. I bought two extenders. Uh, yeah. I haven't plugged well, them Forget in about those. Really? Uh, what what are they? Who made them? Uh, uh, whoever, uh, Logitech or uh, Logitech uh, whoever no. made my uh, uh, no. my uh, route, not router, but no. my, here's, yeah, my here, router. Here, here's, here's what you do. You get these things are from Amazon. Yeah. They're called um, Eero. Uh, no. There are so, uh, several other companies that make them. Orbi is another one that makes them. Okay, yeah. uh, but this this one I found I bought because it looked so easy to set up, and I didn't know if it would work because I already have a Wi-Fi system in my house. But I had like an extender in another room, and it kind of served the rest of the house. This thing comes with three little clumpy things. Okay, yeah. white clumpy things. That's what my technical term is: clumpy things, actually. That, that uh, and you you take the first one, and you plug it into your uh, into your router. In other words, yeah. as one of the, take an ethernet from your router into this thing. Okay. Okay, and then you go on, you use your iPhone to set it up. Mm -hmm. And it's very simple, they just have you go through everything. And so you get the first one working, very simple to get it working. Then you go move another one to another room that's far away, or maybe upstairs or whatever. And you turn, you go in there and you add another one, you turn that one on, and then you go turn the other one on. It took me maybe, 15 minutes to do the whole process yeah and it was you know the whole house is like bathed in wi-fi now well that that's pretty good i yeah. uh i don't have that big of an apartment it's a thousand square feet and uh well i have uh i hate to brag i have 2500 square feet how much are you paying for rent phil 2500 a month hmm that's pretty good that's pretty yeah. good no homeless out in front of my house. No. You know what I'm paying? Yeah, uh, $500 and two cents. $500, but that may go up because yeah. we, uh, our, my lawyer is, uh, see, the reason I'm telling you this, folks, is uh, you could say, oh, it's a big secret. You know, you can't tell anybody. Don't talk about it. But the fact is, it's court pre uh, law. And so you can go down to City Hall in your, the court and get a copy of it, of the, of the judgment, Okay. I'll be right down It'll there. It'll be published everywhere, so it's no great secret. But the thing is that my lawyer feels that, and, and also the other guy's lawyer feels that 
it, it, it was a little too low because they figured it out wrong. It really should be $821. Right. Okay, and that the whole thing is based on two years, not four years, for him getting his money. Right. Uh, and while it's going to get him much less money, they don't want it to fail on appeal. Like if the, the landlord's immediately going to go appeal this thing. Right. Is that going to drag you back in? Well, it, only to the extent that my lawyer has to make sure we're taken care of. Yeah. yeah. That uh, we're that we're not exposed, that we we're gonna still get that lower rent, you know, but yeah. it might be eight hundred and twenty one dollars instead of five hundred dollars. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Um uh so but they felt that the it, they want the judge to uh, do a reorder or something on it, changing it so that when they finally do appeal the thing, the landlords they won't have much of a case. Right. It won't be uh, financially viable to, uh, to repeal. Well, to appeal because uh, they'll uh, have to spend so much on attorney's fees. Well, no, they look, these guys don't care about attorney fees. Everybody cares. They about own attorney. they own, I don't know, dozens of apartment houses. Yeah. But if they got dozens of apartments with guys like you in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a month. You know what the hell? You know what? But, I'm, what I'm what's amazed amazes me is that at this point i mean if the if the price goes up i'm going to have have to retroactively pay the difference really but yeah but it's still not going to kill me yeah you know just stick the money in in a in a in a, in a in well a no thing. i have it in my savings and all of that and uh you know marjorie and i split the rent because she's still we don't have still don't have a, a, a mutual bank account so uh uh she you know we're going to do this whole thing with uh Paying half, she's going to pay half. Right. All right. That's fine. That's cool. Uh, but so that really, the difference is what three hundred and twenty-one dollars a month. So one hundred and sixty bucks a piece. I I have to save one hundred and sixty bucks every month, you know, yeah. to make up for it. But they're going to give us a lease for at five hundred dollars. Wow. They, they, you know, because that was what the court said they had to do. Now they're going to go appeal that. But uh, you know. Who knows? I mean, this thing just never stops. And then my lawyer writes me, he says, uh, well, you know, I told you I wasn't going to charge you anymore. But he says, now that this may go into appeal, I may have to charge you some more oh. for that. And I'm going, <clears throat> you know, is does this thing never end? I don't think it does. What is this, a telethon for lawyers? <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, they won't be worrying where their next meal is coming from. Oh, they know where their next meal is coming from. It's coming it, from the it, Schwarzman it's household. It's coming from the Schwarzman household. Absolutely. You know, so, so let's see. Uh, I looked at some things that were going on today. Jussie Smollett. Yeah. What do you think of that trial? Well, you know, uh, on the, uh, I'm kind of mixed on it because um, how I feel about it is who got hurt here? Trump. No, 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 no. It didn't have anything to do with Trump. Uh, there were 27 police officers assigned to this thing full time to uh, to uh, this hate crime, alleged hate crime. Well, and, uh, do, you uh, do you believe that? Yeah. 27? Yeah. On this? Yeah. Well, you, you, the mayor of uh, Chicago. All I'm saying is that's what they're supposed to do anyway. Yeah. Okay. So let's say he did that. All right. They, still, wait a minute. Still, my question is, who's been hurt? And my answer is nobody. What should they do? They should charge him for the expense. Yeah. Okay. That I agree with. But what you, are you going to do? Going to throw him in jail for this? Nobody got hurt. In fact, we have. I was telling this to Marjorie today, tonight because we were talking about this case. And I said we really should have a new law, or we should make as a precedent of law that the only way you can charge somebody with something is if somebody physically or financially got hurt. Okay? Well, the city of Chicago financially got hurt. Uh, they did? Yes, there was a, a lot of money expended on this investigation. Okay, number so? One, number two, so, number two yeah. uh, it, this, this was created to try to discredit uh, uh, Trump. Now, I know that you don't care about discrediting Trump, but this is just another example of the tribalism that exists 
in this country. What, do you, what, do, you, what do you mean they were trying to? Well, what were they trying? How, well, he said uh, he was attacked by Ma, uh, MAGA supporters, and the guy yells out, "This is MAGA." Why do you have country. to turn this into a Trump thing every time? You got to turn it into a. That's Trump what the thing. Jesse Smollett thing is. Well, okay. Uh, you got some other things that uh, went on. You got the Russia call, uh-huh. at, uh, the China, uh, China ban, the, the House of Representatives, our friend Miss Pelosi. Mm-hmm. Uh, they voted, all but one Republican voted to ban buying goods that come from the area of China where the uh, uh, Uyghurs are. Uyghurs. Uyghurs, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, and uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm all for not buying uh, goods that are made under slave labor. But, uh, you know, I mean, this is egregious. It's been going on for years, and these people are, uh, you know, how can, how can they treat people? Did like you that? ever buy your girlfriend a diamond? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, you bought blood diamonds. Almost every not diamond, in, every, every, almost every diamond in, in the world is well, a I blood did, diamond. I didn't go to the Shane Company, but, you know. <laughs> That people don't get that joke if they don't live in San Francisco. Oh uh, yeah, I thought Shane Company was everywhere. No, no, uh, they're just in San, San Francisco. Yeah, they're just in San Francisco. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, you got a friend at the in the diamond business, right? And I did have I I knew Tom. I did have a friend in the diamond business. <laughs> did you buy a diamond? No, uh, no, no. Oh, yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah. In trade? Huh? In trade? In trade? Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, not in trade. I uh, actually no, paid commercial. for it. I paid for it. I, I had this girlfriend, and I, we were going to get married. And you know, I was going to uh, propose to her, and then she broke up with me just before we proposed. I, oh, I was that, that propose. saved you some money. Well, you know, yeah, I, but I held on to the diamond for several years in case we got back together again. Yeah. But just you... before I broke up with her, I said, well, I was going to give you this. And she looked at it, and she gasped. Really? So it was that nice? It was very nice. Yeah, no blood on that. It diamond. was a flat cut diamond. Yeah, uh, and uh, I got Faye an emerald cut, mm-hmm. which, is, uh, which is a nice. It doesn't look like your standard standard one. Emerald cut, emerald cut is nice. Yeah, well, I got a, a fillet of soul cut. And, yeah. You know. <laughs> anyway, um, but you know, I mean, I just, I, I just, uh, I'm, I, you know, I'm not watching the news that much. I just don't care. And every time I turn it on, you're gonna love this. Every time I turn it on, there's fucking Biden. You, you don't know? like Biden? Well, I like, you know, I like his politics, okay? And uh, I all for him being president instead yeah. of that other sleaze bag. But, God, he's boring. You know, I was saying, I was talking to Will Durst the other day, and he said, you know, there's just no material to be had from this guy. Yeah. He says he's just not he's not interesting, you know, well, and he's looking yeah. old and tired. And that's why I think he shouldn't do press conferences every day, because don't just just, you know, do one every once a month or something and get plenty of rest beforehand. Yeah, well, that's why they kept him in the basement for six months while mm-hmm. he was campaigning. Speaking of tired uh-huh. folks, I am absolutely exhausted tonight. And, and uh, the reason I'm exhausted is my wife, three times a year, has to go have a, uh, a needle stuck in her spine. Uh, and uh, it's something for her back to keep it from hurting. Epidural? It's not an epidural. It's, uh, it, I can't remember what it's called exactly. Uh, but she has to have this done. And they have to put her out. Hmm. You know. So she goes downtown. She goes in. They put her out. She then uh, turns around, comes home, okay? Uh, they wait for her to wake up. The doctor takes her down to the, uh, down to the uh, street and hails her a cab. And, you know, then their responsibility, their liability is over, okay? Say la vie, huh? Well, all of a sudden, there's a new uh, anesthesiologist, and she doesn't want her, he, he doesn't want her, they don't want her to be able to leave without somebody coming down to pick her up. Uh-huh. So I get a call. She she goes down at 6 o'clock in the morning because she doesn't want to have to not eat till noon or something like that, right? So she goes down about 6 o'clock in the morning, and about I'm, I'm sleeping. 
in the arms of Morpheus, getting a good night's sleep, having gone to bed at, at two o'clock in the morning, and the phone rings, and I don't answer it, because who the fuck's calling me this time of the morning? And then it rings again, so I figure I'll pick it up, and I look, and it says Marjorie. So I uh, pick it up. Wasn't Tony. She says, you have to come down here after I'm through with my procedure. I said, when's that? She said, uh, you come down at nine o'clock. Well, it's already like 7.15. Yeah. And so I couldn't really go back to sleep. And I went back to sleep for about 20 minutes. And then my alarm rang again to get me up. And I go down there. I'm exhausted. Yeah. You know, I only got like four hours sleep last night. Well, Jew yeah, boy that... here needs a good night's eight hours sleep or I'm not happy. I haven't been able to get eight hours in I don't know how many years. Uh, for a while, it was three, four hours. Then uh, lately, I've been able to get six. And mm -hmm. last night, I got seven. And I was so happy. Really? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I got a needle today. Uh, yeah. I haven't had time to get the flu shot uh, because I don't have any help at the store. So mm -hmm. I can't leave in, in time or, or get it early enough in the morning mm -hmm. to go to Kaiser. So I looked online, and it said that if you're with Kaiser, you can go to the pharmacy, like Walgreens, CVS, any of those places. Yeah. yeah. So on the way home from work tonight, I stopped at CVS. Uh, I said, I want the flu shot. And they said, well, show us your Kaiser card and your driver's license. And are you sick? No. Uh, boom. They hit me in the arm. And uh, I, I did nothing... Uh, a little bit of discomfort now in the arm at the injection site. Maybe right? tomorrow you might have a little worse. You know, yeah. it just, it, come on. It, it's nothing. Yeah. You know, it's nothing. But I'm, I'm getting all these vaccinations and, and boosters and, and stuff like that. I, you know, there's not going to be anything left of me. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be whatever those RDNA things do to you. Yeah. yeah. Do I have a third eye yet? Huh? Third eye? N no, not yet. Not yet. You know, I mean, it, it, let's face it. I mean, these things are pretty safe. Yeah. You know, and now they're finding that the Omicron yeah. may not be that terrible. No, it's like a cold. Yeah, but it spreads easier. Yeah, well, so do colds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's 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 not uh, it's not a killer version of it. Well, uh, um, uh, they said that. Um, uh, that hospitals weren't mm -hmm. filling up, although I understand that I heard that the Michigan hospitals uh, are having uh, a, a bout with a lot of COVID patients uh, mm -hmm. coming to their hospitals. Well, and, well, I heard that in Africa, where yeah. this thing has been showing up, they don't have that many people in the hospitals because it's no, not because they don't it's, have any hospitals. They do. But the yeah, last time they had this problem, the last time they had this problem, it was pretty heavy. Yeah. Uh, all the hospitals were packed, and not now. And they think it's because, really, it's such a light case. Yeah, that, they're uh, not, well, that, they're that not seems seeing. to be what they're saying, yeah. that, uh, that it's, uh, it's highly transmittable, mm -hmm. but uh, it's not as... Inf uh, well, it's, the it term is, is transmissible. Okay, whatever. You know, that, hey, that's because I didn't go to. I'm college. transmittable when I go on the radio. Yeah, I understand. Well, uh, the uh, uh, yeah, the uh, the Delta variant. Uh, you know, I, now Fauci is saying there's a new definition for being uh, fully vaccinated. Uh, had you heard what his definition is? What, I, I only what? saw the no the headline. No. Uh, uh, yeah, let me see if I can find it again. Well, fully uh, vaccinated is probably three shots now. Well, uh, I, here it is. Fauci, de Fauci, definition of fully vaccinated will be changed. And uh, let, let's get this up. Uh, he says it's going to be a matter of when, not if. Fauci, the head of the National Institute of uh, Allergy and Infectious Diseases. Uh, the term fully vaccinated mm -hmm. refers to a person who receives two doses of Pfizer or Moderna or a single shot of Johnson & Johnson. Fauci said the definition can be changed. Uh, and he's left it open for the possibility of changing it. So I guess changing it means whatever he decides it should be in the future. Well, uh, somebody has to decide. Yeah. You know, I mean, why, what, what do you have against Fauci? 
I have nothing against Fauci. I just think that he's made a number of wrong calls in the in the early days. Uh, and I mis- think I, it, we all made a lot of wrong calls because we didn't know anything about this. I, we were, I, you I know, we were stumbling around he, in the dark trying he, to get he, our best guess. Right, but he allowed Trump to be blamed for those wrong calls. When he told Trump that you don't need to wear a mask, and then Trump goes out and says, well, you don't need to wear a mask, then uh, now, but then he changed his, his tune. Mm-hmm. But Trump didn't. Left. But Trump didn't. Well, Trump was going by the early no, early. no, no, no. Trump, Trump was fighting. Uh, Fauci was saying, "Got to wear a mask, uh, uh, six feet apart, uh, the whole thing." Okay, and uh, Trump went, "Nah, you don't need to do that." And he he wound up getting it and being a super spreader. I mean, this I guy, no, this guy, no, no, this guy, he got. Didn't you hear? He got it, and he went yeah. to the debate. With uh, it, with it. It's three days. Three days after the debate, he came down positive, but he had no, uh, no. Before before tests. the debate, before the debate, he came down positive. Uh, it, it, well, what I had heard was well, that, that you heard wrong. several tests before the debate, and, and those were he, negative. No, tests, they were positive. Three days after, no, he tested no. positive. Here's what happened. He was po- he was he was uh, he was uh, a negative. He was he was positive rather came down with a positive test, went to the debate with the positive test with with perhaps COVID all right, and then he tested again and tested negative and then he tested again and he tested positive and then we all know what happened eventually. Yeah, he, he got yeah yeah. Well, so I mean, know. but I mean, the man had absolutely no sense of responsibility towards anyone else but himself. And he just absolutely had to go to that debate, you know. Well, maybe he, maybe he had an ulterior motive because if he gave uh, COVID to uh, Biden, uh, to Biden, uh, mm-hmm. Biden might not have made it through the campaign. Well, instead, he gave it to a lot of other people from time to time, and you know, he was just totally irresponsible where this was concerned. So don't yeah. don't don't try to excuse that I, behavior. I, you from. know, you may be getting your news. No, no, from- no, no, no. This is this is. For the record, this came from Mark Meadows. Oh, okay. I hadn't heard his testimony. Uh, I understood that he. It wasn't testimony. This is in his book. Oh, well, uh, you know, uh, what are you going to do? So, well, Phil I, just I absolutely I, forgets that one because his book. Yeah. Well, I, hey, I'm I'm glad. You know, he had the COVID. He was he was doing his part to have uh, the antibody, and well, uh, I, you you. <laughs> You're so full of shit. So uh, a new new topic. Chicago mayor blames merchants for not having security and not chaining up their stores, and that's why that there's all these smash and grab robberies. Mm-hmm. Or uh, yeah, robberies. Yeah. Uh, well, by the way, let me bring in some people while we're talking here. Okay. Is it that time? Well, it, it's yeah. It's getting, we're getting a little bit into it, and I just figure I don't want to let these people sit there. Uh, I, I say screw them. Let them sit there. You say screw okay, them. Bring them in. Okay, wait a minute. Let me first. Let me get rid of your, your. There we go. Get rid of your little Phil Meyer thing, and then we'll bring these other people in. Anyway, so the smash and grab things. He's blaming on the merchants oh, himself. Oh, she. She's she? blaming the Chicago Bear, yeah. uh, Lori Lightfoot, or whatever her name yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is blaming the merchants mm-hmm. for uh, allowing these smash and grabs. That they should do more mm-hmm. to have security, and. Uh, and that's why uh, these smash and grabs were taking place in Chicago. Mm-hmm. That sounds like fake Fox News. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to believe that. <laughs> uh, no, we don't. Uh, I know you don't. <laughs> a- a- anyway, um, uh, the what was the other thing? There's one other thing that I that I wanted that that, that was interesting me, uh, and I can't remember what it is now. See. It wasn't the Russia call with uh, Biden and uh, Putin, was it? What happened in the Russia call? I didn't pay much attention to it. He gave him the what, what, stop uh, it with Crimea, right? Uh, no, with uh, Ukraine. Or Ukraine. Ukraine. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much they released. Sorry I mentioned Crimea because I, I, all I know is that river they had Crimea there. River. Crimea yeah. River, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks yeah. like Alan's got... Uh, Got got something on his hand there. I want to. I want to. Yeah. While while I'm still thinking about this, um, two things. So science and medicine is ever evolving, 
Bill, and I know you don't believe in science or medicine, but it's okay. Well, you know, and Fauci, yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me finish, please. Then you, so Fauci didn't know early on. Nobody knew early on how transmissible COVID was or anything. He gave Trump the best information that they knew. And as weeks and months went by, mm -hmm. then he gave Trump better information. Of course, Trump d d decided not to wear masks, but he came out and told people to wear masks. He saved a lot of lives. Okay. Trump did not. Let me ask you this. We've been wearing masks, especially in California. We've been locked down. We've been wearing masks. We've been social distancing. Mm. Uh, they've, uh, they've done a lot to uh, follow the rules. Uh, either Charlie or you, Alan, how many people died in the 11th month period this year, and how many people died in the 11th month period last year? There are still more people died under Trump. How many more? How many? How many more? I don't oh. have the exact number. Okay, right first off. of all, Phil, oh. Phil less than twenty thousand. Phil, 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 you first of all, oh, you, you have to account for something which you're not accounting for. That we are no, we know more about the virus. We know more about how to take care of it in hospitals. Uh, we know that you keep people off ventilators a lot sooner because. Uh, mm -hmm. You want to see if they can do it without a ventilator because once you put them on, about 80% die. All right? So all these factors have maybe given us a slightly lower death rate, but it's because we have the vaccine. It's because we have better medicine. I mean, we, we now know more about this than we did then. So please don't try and compare it to a time when we didn't know Your anything. comparison is an apples and oranges comparison. Oh, the most, most vulnerable... Hmm that uh, were out there died under Trump. When Trump was president, the most vulnerable died, and the reason they died was they didn't have the vaccine, they didn't have all those other uh, uh, things like... Uh, and idiots wouldn't wear masks. Well, yeah, but now people are wearing masks, at least in California, and uh, just as many uh, so, within a few... No, they're not. More people, a lot more people are dying in Texas where people don't wear masks than are dying in California. So, so the reason that this is an apples and oranges question, Phil, is Delta and Delta only. Delta is much more transmissible and much more deadly than the first uh, variants and stuff yep. under Trump. And so the numbers, especially the unvaccinated, are still going to go up under Delta. Even with Omicron, even if Omicron becomes the variant of, of whatever in this in this country, Delta is still out there killing people. And in, until people get their vaccinations and stuff, now it's not 100%. But, you know, Trump didn't have the vaccine, but he didn't have Delta either. Mm -hmm. right. So, you know, I mean, I don't, you know, your question to me was an apples and oranges thing. Last um, July... Uh, before Delta, we were averaging 200 deaths a day in America. Right. Right now, we're averaging over 1,580 deaths per day with Delta. If mm. Trump had had Delta, we'd have 5 million dead Americans. I see. Uh, right, right, without the vaccine. Yeah, because a lot of people are vaccinated and are surviving. I, I agree with Charlie. You're, you're, you're actually, I, 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 I know your answer. We talked about this, you and I, Phil, on the phone during the week. And I think the numbers are pretty close, 385 to 384,000 while Trump was president or while Biden was president. But Biden's had a full year, and the people didn't start dying until March of 2020. So, well, but it's close enough, you know? Yeah. I, 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 but there's still a lot of people yeah, in this yeah. country. There only, were 60 deaths. only 60 percent of the country is fully vaccinated there that were leaves deaths. a lot of millions of people to mm -hmm. get COVID and die from it well they said that uh, we reach herd uh, uh immunity with 70 yeah. percent with 70 percent right uh, early not before delta after delta uh Fauci says they don't really know but maybe closer to 80 or 85 percent right because there's more dead where, where, where mm -hmm. jeff where jeff lives they're, they're, for a state, they're as close to herd immunity as they can be. 
where we live, the Bay Area is as close to herd immunity as any, uh, you know, any metropolitan area. And San Francisco has probably the highest number of people fully vaccinated of any major city in the country. Did they vaccinate the homeless? They are, absolutely. Yeah. But to the rate that they needed to? If they would take the vaccination, yeah. I think so. I, you know, if they're, you know, crazy, if they're doing meth or they're a Republican, mm -hmm. probably not. I doubt you have many Republican homeless. <laughs> uh, I, I would agree. I would agree that might be the case. But uh, I, I think the homeless are lining up. They, they they took that matrix into into it in San Francisco, New York, Chicago, places that they are vaccinating. Milwaukee, I guess, it, you know, or Michigan, it surprises me that so many people I, I think there was like 25% of the people compared to the Bay Area, which is like 75% of the people. And there's only 25% in the state of Michigan that are vaccinated. And I'm like, did, did that guy uh, who ran over or his SUV ran over? He didn't do it. His SUV did it uh, with a mind of its own, ran over and killed six people and injured wait, 40 wait, or Phil, 50. Phil, 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 what, what are you trying are to they do here? Counting, are your... they counting those as COVID deaths? I doubt it. <laughs> Trump. Phil, <laughs> why, why, why Phil. do you have to? You're, start, you're starting to sound like Mike on the intersection now. Uh, listen, yeah, listen. <laughs> I can see if you, you know. I mean, your your defense of Trump just gets tiring because you're you're excusing him for bad behavior that you wouldn't if 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 a, if a Democrat did it, you wouldn't tolerate it. I don't. Is it bad behavior when somebody says you've got the freedom to do as you please? And, yes, uh, yes, because you don't have the freedom to do it. Phil, the Phil, the Phil, you were a cop. You. you you were the pure essence of proving that you can't do that as you please. No, because no, if are, people do as they please, you're there to arrest them. No, there are laws that are agreed to by by man. And, Legislatures. Yeah, and these laws... Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Jeff, know, everybody Jeff, agrees. Yeah. If you come up to a stop sign, Alex, and it's a four-way stop, Mm -hmm. Do you stop? Yeah, because the chances of uh, of killing someone else or getting mm -hmm. killed is, is pretty good if you don't. Well, you live uh, in California, which is the you go, no you go state, in uh, which you yeah. come to an intersection, you go, no you go, no you go, no you uh, go. That's a rolling. We got rolling stops. Well, uh, rolling. You know, where you, where you look like you you think you're going to stop, but yeah. you don't. Yeah. Uh, you get COVID, don't wear a mask. Your chances of killing somebody else are real high too. That's yeah. why there's laws against that. Well, if you wear a mask, uh, and even if you hadn't been vaccinated, uh, what's the chances? It could very well be going? that Trump killed some people. I mean, fit himself. He definitely uh, he killed did. people. Uh, who was the guy who owned the pizza, Godfather's Pizza? He was the CEO. He ran for yeah, president. Yeah, Herman Cain. Herman Cain. Yeah. He may have given he may have given him COVID. Definitely killed him. Yeah, I think I think he, he might have, but you know. Uh, he it, that stupid. Okay, okay. Jeff's got his hand up. He's been yeah. aching to say Phil, something. Phil, here's my question. Did you have polio when you were a kid? No, I was vaccinated. I was born in '54, yeah. and uh, still in in the early '50s, people were getting polio. Right. But, uh, I think I had a polio vaccination. Yeah, and, you I know, remember exactly was it, was it having them in high school. Right. In was uh, it, school. Was it mandatory? Absolutely. Yes. Interesting. There was no discussion. I, 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 I'm, nothing I, I, to do I with your know, parents. I don't know if the polio was it were the polio Wait a minute. Were the polio you shots? In the school. Wait a minute. Were the, and they said wait. on Tuesday, all the kids are going downstairs. Is all Why are we going down? Period. Who knows? And they sh gave it our first injection. And uh, you know something, though? There wasn't... There, three injections. I'm sure uh, there may have been a few parents who complained, but I'm sure that most parents wanted their kid to get the shot. They right. saw what happened to other kids. The biggest fear in America during that period of time is that your kid would come down with polio and wind up in an iron lung or in braces and perhaps be crippled for the rest of his life. Or, or was it the life. government that uh, said that, or was it the schools? The government. It was the government. It was the government. Who do you think? Was Look, the when they made them available, when they made it available, they came running. Everybody yeah. came running. No parents were going, don't give my kid a vaccination yeah. or the polio shot. 
you know? And they know they know a lot more about vaccinations, how they work, and side effects now than they did. And, then. and you forget that that that, that Salk was uh, I don't know if he was put on trial, but he certainly was brought to task because it turned out that some kids did die from the vaccine. But the mm-hmm. argument oh, always oh. went. You know, I saw a movie. There's a great movie called Doctor Ehrlich's Magic Bullet about the uh, guy who cured syphilis, mm-hmm. and he was put on trial. And they put him on trial, and uh, he said, uh, do you admit that people have died from your cure? And he said, yes, but there's another death you aren't reporting. And he said, what? And they said, he said, the death of syphilis itself. Hmm. You know, and, and in the case of polio, parents were fearful of their kid getting polio. I remember when I was a kid, my parents' biggest fear was that I would get polio. Don't go to, go to that swimming pool uh, because they thought the water brought no. it. You, wait what a minute. Let me finish, Phil. Let me finish, oh. Phil. Tuberculosis is a different situation, completely different. I know two people mm-hmm. who have polio today. Today? Yeah. Today. They were born at the, you know, at the time oh, in the 50s. Time. Yeah. It was very common to get it i i know a guy uh also had polio in the 50s and i know him today and uh, he walks with braces yeah mm-hmm. so you brought up tuberculosis phil yeah most tuberculosis cases are, are are taken care of with antibiotics okay but uh, it was it mandatory uh, to get the, uh, to get the, uh, uh, there's, there was a vaccine or something. No, like there that. wasn't a tuberculosis vaccine. I don't believe it. I had it uh, so they just treated it and that, and yeah. they, they attempted yeah. to treat it. A lot of times they would have these tuberculosis, uh, uh, hospitals where they, everybody yeah. was out outside getting yeah. sunshine and fresh air. They thought that would clear it up in, in the Including Rockies in Arizona. You know, in Arizona. Yeah. Places like that. Uh, but it wasn't that. It wasn't that wasn't wasn't what cleared it up. What cleared it up was when we got antibiotics. Yeah. You know. Well, hey, as much as you guys think that I'm an anti-vaxxer, I've had three shots, and tonight I got the flu shot. So you know, I, I, I'm getting the shots, and whether Trump supported it or not is not going to influence me whether I'm going to get it or not. Now, I'm my not question, my question my is, uh, which shot, which shot did you have Pfizer or Moderna Pfizer Pfizer I talked to a guy I was I took a car ride the other day a a, a lift car and the guy picked me up started talking to me and we started talking about COVID and about you know people getting vaccinated and how he had gotten vaccinated and just got his booster and so on and so forth he says but you know I know some people who have had a breakthrough case and been vaccinated. Yeah. He said, you know what's unusual about all of them? I said, what? He said, all of them were Pfizer. Hmm. They, uh, they, I've heard that the Pfizer has, loses its, uh, it, you need the booster. And also... Well, uh, you need a booster, but also you need the booster for Moderna. The difference between the two boosters is the booster for the Moderna is half a dose. Yeah, and yeah, uh, they're finding out with Omicron that they're gonna that they're gonna have to start vaccinating people with Moderna with a full dose. Well, I've had the full dose. I got it early, and they didn't say half dose you, at you, that point. You know so you, my so my pharmacy gave us a full dose. So I think I think your your friends that got breakthrough infections that got Pfizer, I think it's a numbers game. It's a statistic. It's not thing. my friends. It was this this cab driver who said people he knew that got breakthrough all were Pfizer. How, I don't know how you know, but in any case, Pfizer has been used five to one in this country and in Israel. Uh, five times more people have got Pfizer in this country. And they're not using Moderna for kids under the age of 18 because some of the side effects. And so there are a lot of people got Pfizer here that are under 18. I would, I'm happy that I had uh, Moderna. Be honest with you. If, 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 uh, Charlie, you had Moderna, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I had Pfizer. You had Pfizer. Uh, we can tell that. I'm not gonna know. You look like a Pfizer tell. guy. You look like a <laughs> Pfizer guy. 
I'll well, tell you what. I'm most of the happy Jews, I didn't take Johnson and Johnson. Most of the Jews on this panel have had Pfizer. Uh, only three of them. Alex said to get four. Moderna. <laughs> you know, there's only one person not on on that's Jewish. So and he didn't have Pfizer. Yeah. You know. yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes, uh, J Jeff. I don't take Johnson and Johnson. No. 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 Because it's it's not a a good success. Hey, wait a minute now. I have a stock in Johnson and Johnson. You know. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, no problem. No, no reason to be sorry. You're right. It, it's not as it's not as good as the mRNA vaccines. You're That's absolutely right. right. What kind of vaccine is it? It's basically an antibody vaccine. Yeah, it's it's like it's like the flu vaccine. It's kind of developed yeah. that way. Well, so, do they take some of the COVID virus and develop a vaccine with it? Yes, it, it's dead. The virus so that, is dead. That's a, that's a standard vaccine. Yes, yes. But but think about the flu vaccine. In a good year, it's 40% effective at preventing the flu, but it's much higher effective at, at, at saving you from going to the hospital or dying. And that's yeah. that's what COVID shots are made for. Well, They, they claim they're 95% effective. That means statistically, uh, you know, one in every 20 people can get COVID. Well, you know what the Republicans believe? that all the people that took an RDNA uh, vaccine are going to uh, need, uh, they're going to have to either convert to becoming a Democrat, uh, because if they don't, they won't give them the antidote, which will keep them alive for another six months before the next booster. So, <clears throat> you know. That's not true. I already got my antidote. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't Yeah, that's because I've been a Democrat the whole time. <laughs> I don't know what an RDNA vaccine is, but I'm sure you whatever meant, the whatever you the meant to I say think. you meant to say mRNA. I'm sure. So yeah, well, well that's what he meant to say. He yeah. just the R two D two. By the way, vaccine. everybody have you know, a drink. You know, here's here's another little factoid with the the Johnson 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 and Johnson. They give you the vaccine and it stays in you. The mRNA. <laughs> Uh, uh, teaches your immune system to fight, and then a month or two later, most of it's gone out of your system once it's taught your your immune system to fight the, the certain things. That means it's longer lasting. Uh, yeah, because there's 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 what's called T cells and B cells, and and, and obviously the antibodies, and those three things are what make up your immune system. That's uh, the guys that got AIDS had the low T cell count. Right. Yep. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. Absolutely. Now, I think uh, Johnson and Johnson also gives you a free band aid. A free box of band aids. I yeah. got a free band aid with every shot I got of Pfizer. They, you know, as soon as they they put it on, they. But put you on weren't supposed to swallow them, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So anyway, I'm exhausted. Yeah. Are you? Oh God. Marjorie had me getting up at that uh, oh, an ungodly hour to go pick her up. I heard that. She woke me up from a dead sleep. A Don't dead you sleep. Hate when that happens. Oh God! And then I. You should have said, "Look, I'm 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 going back to bed. Just stay at the hospital for four hours. I'll pick you up." He says, "Here's the information you need." And I go, "Wait a minute! I got to go find a pen." You ever try and find a pen when you haven't had enough sleep? Yeah. Well, you know, and then I then then I found a piece of paper and it was just like one of these small little square <laughs> stickers yeah. and I'm trying to write on it. And of course, at my age, I can't write anything. Right. So I'm trying to write it. And I can't. I'm, try, I'm trying about five times. I'm just because I'm doing this in a dead sleep. Don't they have medical cars that you can uh, the insurance will pay for? No, 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 no. Here's the problem. Yeah. She has to. She can't leave unless there's somebody there to pick her up sign her out i would have stay there well i told her i said what is this slavery you mean you can't just get up and say fuck you i'm leaving yeah you know or well, don't they have a piece of paper they can have you sign saying you you know you, you you relieve them from any and all responsibility uh you know i think if the doctor knows better that Sign, uh, getting the piece of paper doesn't matter. As a contractor, if I have a, if I do something that I'm not supposed to do, and I have the customer who begs me to do it mm -hmm. sign a release, yeah. uh, I'm still liable for the uh, for for doing it, and because I'm licensed and they're not. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, huh. So that may be the same thing with the anesthesiologist. It could be. Could be. If you sign that sheet, that means they're not liable for your dam any damage to you. But if you drive a car and then you pass out driving the car and you kill a bunch of people, those people have not signed anything and they will sue the hospital to halfway. Yeah, to but heaven. you're you're talking about a city in which you drive a car. <laughs> By the way, I said to Marjorie, we, we we're leaving, right? And she, so she, I to begin with the, the, the lift. You know how much it costs Sorry. me to go three miles? Sixteen dollars. Try fifty-five with tip. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, what time of day was Marjorie it? took it early in the morning, and it only cost her like twenty dollars. Right. Right. Oh. So anyway, so I did this. So we come out of there. And she then goes on to get a lift because there's not a cab in sight. There aren't a lot of cabs in Manhattan anymore. Really? Beca yeah. Well, because they find it's better to be a part of Lyft or Uber. All right? Yeah, because you don't have to spend $200,000 on a medallion. Yeah, well, yeah, right. right. All, all those medallions aren't worth anything anymore. Who was the guy they threw in jail, The Trump's uh, lawyer? Oh, uh, uh, Michael. Michael, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Michael Cohen. Michael Cohen. Yeah. Do you know he ha owns several million dollars worth of medallions that then wow. one uh, now are worth nothing? Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> medallions. In case people don't know, are, are these the licenses for the for the cars? And yeah. they put a medallion it, it, on. The it hood. was a it was a shield that would go on the hood of a of a cab yeah. in New York. And then you could sell your medallion. Right. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, they used to be worth a lot of money. Anyway, there's so there aren't as many cabs on the streets anymore. So um, um, I uh, we get out and we're looking for a cab and there's a, not a cab anywhere. So she immediately calls Lyft and I said, you know, the minute you hit select on Lyft, you, you know, and you order up the car, the minute you hit that, we're going to see a yellow cab. Right. Yeah. And the minute she hit it, two yellow cabs with their lights on. Mm-hmm. Headed our way. Yeah. Yeah, but if you tell them you're going uh, up to Harlem, they won't take you. Yes, they will. Uh, it, not in the old days. No, now, this is like a very fancy, fancy. These are very, expen these are very expensive. These are very expensive apartments. In the world. These are very expensive apartments in this part of town. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's expensive. Five hundred dollars a month rent. It's just. <laughs> It's Killing. expensive for everybody. You know, it's but you. funny. It's funny. I would have thought that was awfully high when I first moved to New York City, because mm. I moved into a really nice apartment and it was three hundred bucks. You know, I believe that I was in that apartment uh, and had breakfast up in it. Riverdale. No, this oh. was uh, down uh, uh, on Fourteenth Street. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it's when a, you were living with Naomi. Uh, yes. That that horrible thing in my life. <laughs> she was gorgeous. She, uh, you know, uh, she was so sexy. That she was drop dead sexy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive you nuts. Go, go, go ahead and tell. Go ahead and There's tell her nothing. There is me, nothing Bill, worse. You really wanted to have her. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to. You didn't say that. <laughs> there is nothing worse than a woman that's that hot, who is absolutely unbearable to live with. Who has a headache every day? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, only your girlfriends, Alan, have headaches. Absolutely. And that's the excuse they give you. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, while they're waiting for the police to come. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I. Uh, but I, you know, I mean, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm really sick of this whole legal thing. I just have had it. You know, just when you think it's over, it's like the Godfather. They pull you back in. You know, can't you just buy your way out of it? Well, we made it. We made a, a we we made an agreement. Uh, you know, it was the the judge asked us each, and then he said, "Okay, I make it an order." And then he then he of course came out with the decision. Can that order be set aside on appeal? Yes, of course. I mean, and, uh, you, you, uh, anything can be set aside on an appeal, but you got an appeal. You've got to give an overwhelming amount of evidence that the decision that was made was wrong. So, uh, are you, uh, is your lawyer uh, in contact with your landlord to set up this uh, thing? or? Well, we're getting a lease for $500 oh. a month, literally $500 a month. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
you know. That, that, that is great. I, I tell you, though, there's But, I mean, a lot it, it may not out. hold. It may go up, but, right. you know. Yeah, as soon as they calculate it again, they might find there was an error. Well, the, my lawyers feel that it has to be recalculated because they don't want it to go to appeal and have anything really that's appealable. Well, do you think that the difference of three hundred dollars a month is going to make? Yes, that it deal? is because it's oh, what it, 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 it's, it's a reward to well, the other guy. No, it's it's a question of what that f was determined by, uh, and I could go into all the metrics that go into that, but there are two metrics. One which the judge went on that back in uh, before they had taken the apartment and uh, uh, made it rent stabilized. Mm -hmm. the 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 rent here was five dollars five hundred dollars and four cents a month okay then they didn't register it for something like eight years okay and then all of a sudden they registered it but they registered it as something like two thousand dollars or something like that so that was a fraud on the it, rent stabilization yes and so uh he said you have to go back to that original number and start from that point so the legal rent for this apartment is five hundred dollars a month now, and uh, I, he set he set the set I'm setting the the rent stabilized price at five hundred dollars. The only thing is that that is not the metric that he had to go should go have gone by. He should have gone by uh, the year two thousand ten to mm -hmm. two thousand fourteen, and what was the lowest rent in an apartment? That was identical to this one. Are there any? And that identical? was yeah, that was like three floors below, and it was eight hundred and seventeen dollars, eight hundred seventeen dollars. You're month. much better off though letting yeah. the landlord and the other so, guy fight it out than than you. Well, but we we have to be in there fighting for it because we're fighting to keep our rent down, you know. Yeah. But if if it's going to cost me more to to fight it, right? Yeah. You know, it's it's so just, at thirty thirty six hundred dollars a year difference. Let's say between five and eight. Uh, so uh, the the three hundred dollars a month, thirty six hundred a year. Well, uh, well, the it, rent the rent that we were the the legalized stabilized rent price for this apartment. If you they did everything just legally, was yeah. they were going to give it to us for two thousand two hundred and twenty five dollars a month, which is still very good. Okay, but uh, because of all, but the, the, the deal we came to in court was, is that we would pay that, that would be the rent, right. unless somehow the court decided the rent should be lower. Right. And the court decided the rent should be lower. So I have to be given that price, you right. know. That, that's great. What am I gonna say? I, am I gonna say to the landlord, hey, listen, I feel sorry for you. Just charge us what you were going to charge. I don't charge think us. they can take more unless you. I don't say, think they can either. I don't think I can offer to give offer. more. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Ray Renati's here, and so is uh, the Vermont senator. What's his name? Uh, Sanders. Bernie Sanders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He looks cold. Hmm. Uh, uh, Ray, you. I don't think your mic's on. What is that clock? The mic's not on. Oh, now it is. Now oh, okay. All right. What, what's the yeah. clock? What's your clock? That's, oh, that's that's a, a clock my wife uses for teaching her exercise class online, which oh. teaches a bunch of them. It's a swim clock for a swimming pool, lap pool. <laughs> but well, people like take their pulse and stuff. Turn turn up your mic a little bit. Your mic's low. Oh, it's low. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I uh, sold something on eBay, and let me tell you, this is the worst experience that you can possibly have uh, dealing with selling something. Well, that's short of buying something on eBay, but go yeah, ahead. Well, I, I, had, uh, I had a camera that uh, I bought a new camera, I ordered a new camera, and I sold two of my other cameras mm -hmm. that would have been redundant uh, and, right. and not as good. Right. So uh, what ended up happening was uh, one of them I sold to a friend immediately. The other one I put on eBay, and I, I was willing to take a thousand bucks for it. It was sixty five hundred dollars new. It was a two thousand fourteen camera. So you know they, they, so what happens is you get all of these scammers. People. One guy offered me he says, "Well, I can't pay you through uh, PayPal, or I want to pay through PayPal and." Uh, 
eBay wants me to pay them and they pay you. So he says, can you take part of the money this way, part of the money? I said, no, no, no. If you want part of the camera this way and part of the camera that way, I'll, I'll do that. So uh, I said, I'll release you from the purchase. So I released the guy from the purchase mm -hmm. and somebody else bought it at the end of the auction and actually paid me more than I asked. And there was a bidding war. Mm -hmm. So then I get a I get a uh, email from some other guy uh, with a Nigerian name, and he says, "Was he a prince by any chance?" Oh, but he says, "I moved. Thank you. I'm looking forward to getting my camera. I moved. Please send it to this address and this <laughs> name." And so, you know, I wrote him back, and I said, "Well, look, I, w I was born at night, but it wasn't last night." And uh, I said, "You're a POS." And so uh, then I get a thing from eBay that says, "Don't communicate with this guy because uh, you know." It's it's he's not a good guy, uh, but every everywhere you turn, there was somebody trying to steal stuff. Uh, it's a POS piece of shit. Yeah. No, <laughs> but and that's what I said. POS point so of sale. Edit. Point of sale. Yeah, well, point of sale. Point of sale. <laughs> and so what what I'm finding out is you can't you can't do anything. eBay is got to be dead soon because if there's that many scammers. And, and, and that oh yeah it's gonna be dead soon how long has it been around it's been around a long time but uh, before you know, Amazon you know if you're a merchant and you're selling something on eBay that's one thing but if you're a, a guy like me that's got a camera and you know lists it for sale there, there's all sorts of scammers out there mm -hmm. I had never seen so many scammers in my life uh, so yeah you probably would have saw less if you were a Democrat. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they would have wanted it for free. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Well, these guys did want it for free. Yeah. Uh, mm. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just amazed by the uh, by what's going on with this stuff. Yeah. Well, have, have yeah. Any, you ever sold something on eBay? No, I have. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how long ago? A long time ago, when a, a single person could do it. Now it's. It's all about companies. Is my sound okay now? Yeah, turn yeah. it down okay. just a tad. Yeah. Turn, turn it, it down. down? Jesus, I can never get it right on here. Is it better to put <laughs> the auto on. adjust on? No. Uh, okay. No. Because it builds up and then... I don't understand how... I mean, when I... Okay. All right, I turned it off. Is that better? Yeah, but turn it down now. Perfect. Now i got to turn it down. Great. Yeah, turn it down just a tad. Yeah. All right, how's that? Oh, fine. Yeah. That's perfect. All right. Jesus yeah. Christ. No, it's just right. that here's the problem I have, is that if one of you is louder than another, then everybody isn't sounding equal. I try to get everybody equalized. No, I wish No, I were. get it. I get it. I think it's because this mic, Alex, you have one of those mics that you can be for, like this one, you got to be like right on top of her. It doesn't work. Well, no, this, this is like is a very the, little the, uh, Well, I have this thing set to, uh, 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 to a, a very narrow um, yeah, so the, I, don't, uh, see, I don't have yeah. that option with this thing. So, yeah, yeah. What, what do they call it? Carter, cardioid, uh, 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 cardioid, cardioid, yeah. Cardi yeah, cardioid, is cardioid pattern. Mic. There's a cardioid pattern, yeah, then there's a I directional, and I use the directional because then you don't hear as much noise on the sides. You know. Yeah, I need so, to get one of those because yeah. this is for like being right up close. And it sounds like, good. No it sounds good. Yeah, it, when you get it right, it sounds good. It's good when I'm by myself or just one other person. By the way, but... folks, I'm glad you joined us. Uh, Sorry. We're, 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 <laughs> no, we're, we're discussing how good our microphones sound tonight. That's our, <laughs> that's our topic. Yeah. My son got Johnson & Johnson, by the way. One of my sons. Is, it, is he yeah. bragging? Or no? Oh, the No, I am. Talking... <laughs> I feel so special that I know someone with it. <laughs> and he's in my family. <laughs> I, I got myself a big Johnson and Johnson uh, shot. Well, your your son is what about seventeen, sixteen? No, the older one, the twenty five year old, got the Johnson and Johnson, or the Johnson and Johnson. Like yeah, did, did he it. do that because he didn't want to go back, or uh, I think at the time off. he wanted to get it at, at like just Safeway or whatever, and that's all they had. Oh. It was yeah, they didn't had they didn't have the Moderna or the Pfizer there. So what do you do? He said, I'll take a dozen eggs, yeah. uh, a Slim Jim, and a Johnson & Johnson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went down to my CVS today, and I went back to get some Afrin. Where, by the way, I had to, this is terrible. I, had to, I had to, wanted to get some Afrin. So you go to get the Afrin, 
and they've got it all locked up now. Oh, it's controlled. They use that to oh, yeah. make uh, yeah. methamphetamine. But what, what happens yeah, you is you can't it. find anybody. I said to this one salesperson, uh, can you open it up for me? And she says, I don't have the key. Her aspirin? <laughs> And, oh, Afrin. Afrin. Oh, Afrin, Afrin, yeah. Afrin. I'm sorry. Okay. Hey, so, hey, so, um, so, wait a minute. So, Phil, did you hear about, wait, 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 I think it was about like six let months let ago. Let me finish, let me finish my, my story. House, like, let me finish my story first. Oh, sorry, sorry, Alex. Uh, I yeah. you done. Sorry. So I, I, uh, I you know, finally get somebody and I get the stuff. And I'm noticing as I look at CVS, anybody been in a CVS lately? No. Yes. It's like, yeah. it's, it's like a, a medical place now. They've got doctors there. They've got, uh, you know, they're giving the shots. They're doing this. I mean, I got mine. A shot tonight at a CVS. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's just a, it, 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 they, they quit just being a place where you go get the Afrin, you know, or, or pick up your, your prescriptions. And uh, supposedly, haven't they bought a, a, a insurance company as well? Like, at, company, I thought at, bought them. No, I think Ed, they Walmart bought they me. bought Aetna, I think. Oh, I no, think I it's Aetna. Right. Yeah. So they're they I thought you were using um, Costco. Well, I'm using Costco, Costco, but I went into CVS because I wanted to get the Afrin. I don't, you know. But by the time uh, I get my stuff from mail order Costco, uh, my nose will no longer be plugged up. So yeah, you know, send you two of them. Yeah. No, it's st any any. Uh, Anything that I need right now, let's say I have a doctor and I have an infection and he wants me to take an antibiotic. Well, I'm not writing out to Costco and saying, send it to me. I'll wait five days, you know. Uh, but so I have it sent to my, that goes through my Walgreens. Before Ray forgets what he was talking about, oh, it's he okay. to talk about Safeway uh, uh, down in Palo Alto. Oh, I, I don't know if you remember on the news like six months ago, there was some guys who broke into my Safeway and like, tried to steal the afrin and like beat up the pharmacist and there was a big fight did you ever hear well, about they, that? They, they, they make some kind of drug out of it right yeah methamphetamine methamphetamine yeah 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 my cvs right near my house hasn't changed yet at all it's the same as it's always been except they have more they have a bunch of the self-checkouts which they didn't have but as far as everything else goes it's yeah. We yeah. haven't gotten well, that yet. You know, now uh, they've closed a bunch of Walgreens, the Bay Area, because people are just going in and stealing stuff and uh, and, and coming out. Uh, but uh, I, I wanted to mention Democrats. one thing. Yeah, I, I saw uh, there's an article. Um, uh, people who got Johnson & Johnson vaccine are at elevated risk of uh, Guillain bear syndrome. Uh, is that the one that makes you feel tired? Uh G I don't know. Uh, How much of a risk, though? Like, is it a real small percentage or? Uh, 120 student. Uh, I'll, let me read you. Oh, article. that's the one where young men get it? Yeah. Yeah, it's really, really super low. And, uh, and apparently, I was listening to some doctor, and they said a lot of guys get that even without vaccines before. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's just like a slight increase since Johnson & Johnson. So it's almost negligible. This is what I heard yeah. recently. And because yeah. uh, my son got it, so I was kind of like, oh, shit. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, they're uh, most happened within 13 days of vaccination. Mm -hmm. And uh, out of 100,000 person uh, uh, cases per 100,000 person uh, was 34.6 uh, yeah. within one to 21 days. And uh, did, did they know did they compare that to how many would have had it without the vaccine? Uh, not, uh, I don't see anything about that. Oh, okay. Yes. But uh, uh, then uh, there was another article in here that 120 people, kids in Vietnam who got the Pfizer vaccine uh, got uh, sick. Uh, oh, really? So that, that's interesting. Yeah, 100 and, uh, let me get the thing. Well, maybe it was a lousy yeah. dose. Get it? Laos? Lousy. Vietnam? Yeah. <laughs> lousy. <laughs> So were you talking? I'm sorry, I went out of the room for a minute. Were you talking about pericarditis, the the, the heart inflammation thing, um, from the from the Johnson and Johnson vaccine? No, uh, uh, I can't pronounce Gear. Uh, um, oh, yeah, uh, the the Gearing B. I can't pronounce. Barre syndrome. Yeah, right, but, but you can get that from any of the vaccines can cause that. Even the flu vaccine can. Yeah, cause that's what I. 
just right. very, very low numbers. And also, it's real common in young men without vaccines anyway, apparently. Okay. Yeah, all now, now, a lot of people are getting kids vaccinated, but the kids are at very low risk of getting COVID. So, you know. Yeah, but they can spread it. Yeah, they can spread it That's to the adults. P- and, and some kids are getting COVID and dying. So, ones with comorbidities? Ones, ones that just get it. They don't need to have comorbidities to, to get COVID. Excuse oh, me, get folks, it. by the, the way, ones fo- folks, excuse me. I've just been doing something, trying to fix something here, and and they're sometimes stuff popping up in front of your picture. So, oh. I mean, to but me, I've lost like all my will. Remember to... that this we, thing we... is spreadable, like whether you have symptoms or not. Yeah, I mean right. that's like huge, a huge deal. Hey, Alex, if stuff mm-hmm. is popping up in front of our picture, do we get some money back? No, but I mean, it went black for a little while, uh, for a second or so. Uh, Bill, pr- aren't you going to talk about your new grips? What? Uh, I hadn't planned on it. I knew what? Grips? Uh, I decided to treat myself. I saw this, uh, this um, uh, on, on my gun, you know, you have these wooden grips that, uh, that, hold, that hold the thing. So I saw a pair of Siberian um, uh, woolly mammoth tusks that were made into uh, Colt 1911 grips. And uh, they're beautiful, and I bought them. Uh, they're very, they're very nice. Yeah, and they're they're like a work of art. And uh, yeah, uh, I probably spent too much money, uh, and I, it was something that you absolutely don't need. But it's like buying a piece of art. Well, you can get them. You can get them very cheap. Very cheap. Uh, well, the plastic they're down one. in Alabama. Yeah, yeah. Where the Tuscaloosa. Oh, yeah, Tuscaloosas. Uh, Tuscaloosa. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's Siberian Tuscaloosas. Uh, so anyway, you're not allowed to bring these into California. So I sent it to my sister's house in Florida, and she repackaged it and wrote Merry Christmas on it and sent them back to me. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you doing something illegal here, Phil? Well, no, because they, the, the company wasn't allowed to ship them into uh into california but that doesn't mean my hmm. sister could it, it, it's like boots you can yeah. certain snakes okay. in california you can get boots made out of them ostrich yeah. nope no ostrich skin boots in california how stupid let's say hello to kevin kevin has joined us hi kevin how you doing what's happening same old same old same old same old anything anything uh, b- bothering you these days or are you just copacetic no just copacetic same old same old same old. <laughs> <clears throat> nothing bothers me you yeah. know that. now you're not doing any santa work this year are you no i turned down a job this last weekend well, why'd you turn it down i was doing other stuff okay yeah okay. But I mean, would you be doing it this year if it weren't for the COVID? Or uh, if, it, if it wasn't, yeah. If I didn't, if there wasn't COVID, I'd probably be doing it. Yeah, but I might do some little side jobs, you know. Yeah, yeah. If somebody calls up and needs an emergency Santa, there's a lot of there's a shortage this year. But don't Santas this year all have to be people of color? What's I that? Thought, I thought all Santas needed to be people of color this year. Probably, yeah. Uh, but well, I could speak Espanol or something, you know. <laughs> You know what I don't understand? I, I understand that you want to incl- make things more inclusive, okay? But I'm getting a little tired of, for instance, they're saying, let's get a female James Bond. Huh? Come on. You know, James Bond's like, let us guys still have our own heroes, okay? Yeah. You know, let's well, make... I'll tell you. It's wreaked havoc on me because I, I can't, unless you're like in the very small handful of people who work all the time my age. Yeah. I can't get, I can't get any acting work. I can get a lot of extra work. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I get yeah, me these too. Things. I just did it. I, I had this casting thing I get. And uh, they have, uh, 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 they're always sending out things. I put to them how old I was. And so some of them say, you know, do, 60 do they, 50 50 to 100 you know you still pay 50 bucks for an extra no if you're in the if it's if it's a sag extra i did one uh two weeks ago and i got 550 dollars in eight hours i sat around and did nothing 
Yeah. Really? Literally that, that much? Because the ones mm-hmm. I see here are like $182, $218, something like that. You know? Yeah, but then, but then like if they, if they go over on lunch, it's another 20 bucks. And they gave me $100 to take the COVID test. And then they gave me $40 to use my mm-hmm. car in the mm-hmm. scene. And then I worked two hours, hour, two hours overtime and then a third hour. And I got like another 200 from that. So okay. What was what was the uh, did you have to sign a non disclosure or something or could you say what it is that you did? I'm not supposed to say. Okay. Yeah. You they had a, they had a code them? name for the show and everything, and I wasn't even supposed to find that out. I did, but they're, they're, by the way, they're shooting the Equalizer in this building tomorrow. Really? really? Yeah. I like the Equalizer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who who is it? Denzel Washington. And if I if I wanted to do it, I mean, I haven't done any of this uh, this extra work because. Well, I, you know, I just haven't done it uh, or applied for it. I might try it for, and just see how it goes. Well, but for instance, they, had, they had a call. They had a call for extras for Murders in the Building the next season. Mm. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. since it's in the building, you don't have to travel far. Was yet. that in your building, Alex? No, 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 no. Oh. That building, however, was a sister building of this building. This yeah, building, I noticed it looks this, this building was the first building of that ah. type that was built. Then the Anthorpe, and then that one, which I can't remember the name of it right now. Uh, and that one is somewhat built somewhat like this one. The Anthorpe is simply a bigger version of this building. Oh, ah, okay. So That show wasn't any good until the last two episodes. Really? Yeah. I, did you see it? You know what I just watched? We uh. watched all three years of it. You have you seen? Yes, you? I have. What'd I love think? it. What'd you think? Good. I love it. Mm-hmm. I love it. I mean, it's creepy, but I love that show. Well, it's <laughs> creepy. It, it, it's really a, a show. It's a show about a serial killer, basically. Yeah, and his and, friends. And and every season, <laughs> you're wondering what the body count's going to be. You know, how, how much have it? you watched? Well, I watched the whole all three seasons. Oh, oh, okay. Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Was, it, was, it was, well, what the net- third season was really good. Yeah. What network is it on? Oh, Phil, you got to watch it, the third season, because it's a parody of the East Bay, like right where where you live over there. Yeah. They they even live there, it and t- like all the stuff about no, it takes place, you know, like, Orinda I, and Moraga and all that. It's like in the show. I think it takes no, I think it takes place in the South Bay, doesn't it? Mm- well. Oh. Okay, so yeah, they're talking about Silicon Valley, but like they say, oh, we're going over to San Francisco. It's just twenty minutes through the over the hill. Like, yeah, they they reference both, but I'm telling you, but like the whole thing is so conservative. First like, season, first conserv- season, yeah. he's an out and out just serial killer. Yeah, right. What in New, in New York? Not. Second season, he moves to California, and th- it's on and the- third season, he gets married and they have a child and they're dual <laughs> serial killers. It's on Netflix. Oh, it is. Yeah, and it's yeah. called U. Y O U. Y O U. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that's good. To, I've been watching uh, Yellowstone. Oh, I couldn't get through the first episode. I couldn't either. Does it get better? Yeah, I like it. it you, oh, the first episode was horrible. You get invested in the okay. characters. All right. And uh, you know, like any any series, uh, you know, and and it's it's going on now, so you have to wait a week uh, for it, and it's on Paramount Plus. Now, I don't pay for it, but if you wait a few days after Sunday, then it's free. I think the earlier the earlier seasons are on a, one of the other, uh, like Netflix or Hulu or something yeah. like that, or Prime. Yeah. I think yeah. we're in season four. Uh, and, yeah, it's I'm, I'm enjoying it. i got to get HBO again so I can watch Curb. Oh, yeah. your enthusiasm? Yeah, I yeah. love that show. Yeah, it's fun this year. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I really, uh, um, I, I like you a lot. And um, I know you did. <laughs> well, I'm not talking about you, you. I'm talking about you. How many people here have got the the uh, Tony set tonight? Uh, three. three. Boy, there's nothing oh, yeah. like green. Like I, 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 I decided I've just given up on green screens and I'm just doing this for my living room. As a green screen. That's a green screen. Actually, no? I noticed that the the window out there, the outdoor, the city, you can see the city out there. Yeah. City yeah. of San Francisco is what it looks like. Huh? There's hills. hills. It looks like San Francisco. The hills are alive. No, no. That is not, that's my, uh, that's the air conditioner. <laughs> Look at Tony's mother. And that's Marjorie's <laughs> armoire there. 
<laughs> what, you see Tony's oh, mother Tony's behind mother. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's so cool. bad. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, boy. But... You know, it. it uh, uh, what? What? Uh, I get together with Kevin and uh, Josh and uh, 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 Patrick. Uh, Patrick, uh, once a week on Saturdays, we just hang out on Zoom and just talk. Was there anything we talked about this week that was worth talking about, uh, Ke Kevin? Shit, that was three days ago. I'm just, I don't remember. <laughs> it's, it's a memorable talk. Yeah. Wait till you get to your fifties, Kevin. It gets worse. Oh, it gets terrible. It gets terrible. I mean, uh, I mean, Alex just turned sixty and he's got no memory. Because <laughs> he can't remember the last twenty-one years. I'll be yeah, that's right. I'll be sixty-three in a couple weeks. And I just turned sixty a couple two weeks ago. Oh, great! Oh, I just turned nineteen. A week from Saturday. Yeah. What was her name? I don't remember. <laughs> A week from Saturday, yeah. uh, I will be 82. A week right. from Saturday. Saturday yeah. will be the That's 11th. the 16th, is it? That's young. That'll be the 18th. December Do you 18th? know, uh, last night I watched this thing that they did, uh, 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 where they did uh, live in front of a live studio audience, and they did two old sitcoms that had been produced originally by Norman Lear, and they had Norman Lear on the show. Oh, uh, was that the All in the yeah. Family one? Do you know or? how old Norman Lear is? Ninety nine. He's still alive. Yes. This. Yeah. Oh my this, God. <laughs> this July he will be one hundred years old. Yep. Oh. So, so and he has Alex, a little ponytail. Yeah. <laughs> Cracked me up when he turned around. Yes. Your, your oh, birthday and... is on December eighteenth, Alex. Yes. We're ten days and a few years separated. In a few years. I'm on the twenty eighth. Oh, you're the 28th. My mother is going to be 92 tomorrow. That's oh, wow. Really? Yeah. How, how's she doing health with wise? You all these years? Yeah. How's she doing? Betty oh, White will be 100 next month. She, she doesn't wow. take any pills other than vitamins. She still does <laughs> yoga, and wow. uh, she still exercises. She stopped driving because she said it was too crowded. But she has a three-wheel bicycle, non-electric, that she pedals and gets around town. Is she vaccinated? Uh, yeah. Is she a Trumpist? No. Yeah. Oh, good. Is she? Is she a Trump person? Yeah. Good for well, her. She's vaccinated. Well, good the only her. person in Florida that is. How about yeah. that? <laughs> well, they just moved she down there. Florida? They were, they were in, yeah, they were in Franklin, Tennessee, which is, let me tell you, a gorgeous place. And you can yeah. eat off the sidewalks. It's so clean. Mm -hmm. So my, uh, she's living with my sister. And my sister sold the house, and she mm -hmm. wanted to live in a beach town. And she moved to a little island right off of Jack's in J uh, Orlando uh, and uh, Vera something. But uh, it's beautiful, too. And uh, Keep talking about this. Our numbers have gone up when we're talking about your mother in <laughs> moving to Florida. Any correlation. Huh? <laughs> there's any correlation but you know my mother is 92 very healthy her son 67 not so healthy but uh yeah. you know maybe i got a little longevity yeah 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 well who was that actor who worked for 100 years that died at well he, no he was 100 and he was 105 100 yeah and he and he started working when he was well, five what's his name from uh, the guy <laughs> in saboteur who fell off the uh, the uh, statue of liberty yeah i'm trying to remember his name right now yeah, yeah. That's a, a Statue of Liberty. He was an actor yes. for a hundred years. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's and and, and by the way, our union lost his insurance for him. Yeah, he lost uh. his medical insurance because of our union. Uh, yeah, yeah, he didn't work enough in the and last then, five years. And then he years. died. I'm, I'm trying to remember his yeah. name. I'm trying to remember oh. his name. I forgot too. Oh, oh well, I'll, I'll remember it some other Bernie time. Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Bernie yeah. Sanders. Hey, listen, that's it, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us, Phil and Jeff and Alan and Charlie and uh, uh, Ray Ramon. <laughs> Ray Ramon. Ray Ramon. Alex. Oh, yeah, plastic. And, and, and Tony. And, 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 and Tony's mom. And Kevin, always great to see you. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll be give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel. Wait a minute. Let me just... Uh, Stop the uh, 
the, uh, the stream or the uh, Zoom because then maybe I will start getting into sync. And time to say to you that Jack Bishop is next with the intersection. You can give him a call. I'll see you again tomorrow night, 1030, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And please wear a mask or get vaccinated or just leave me alone. Bye.